Age, I played amateur golf with him, and he had the bar up here, so I knew if I wanted to be better, I used to have to get my game up there. But one thing about Mark, I probably hit it 80 meters past Mark. When I got to end the hole, he had a three and out of four. Mark knew his game. He was, a, he was never um, forcing, I count, I count very well. Mark had, uh, from 100 meters in, probably one of the best players I ever saw. Hold every putt. Never rushed anything. I, I was fortunate enough to play foursomes with him a few times, uh, playing for what it was called, Southern Transvaal or Central now in South Africa. And when he ever read a putt, he'd say to me, okay, the first part of the putt's going to go like that, and he's going to go like that, and he's going to... I said, don't talk rubbish, man. It's just left edge, isn't it? He said, no, no, no. It's, see, it goes a bit downhill there. And that's how he read a putt. He didn't rush into his putting. I don't know if you guys read putts like that, but I don't. I sort of look at his left edge. He, he looks at every single part of it. Keep it low. <laughs> but he, he used to do things like that, and uh, that's a gift. I was behind Dale, because he was the fastest player on the tour, I was the second fastest. <laughs> I never, ever saw Dale swing, ever. They told me he had a short swing. I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting to see it. <laughs> Mine is short, but he's is shorter than mine. I haven't seen it yet. Guys, you always make sure you hit the ball before it sees you coming. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we're all different. You know, that, when, I, when I got onto tour, Dale said to everybody, he's born 